This is Space Rogue for the Hacker News Network, and this is the last h and cast for the first week of July, 2011. Way back in 1998, uh -oh. Loft Heavy Industries and myself created a website we called the Hacker News Network. The goal of the site was to disseminate news related to computer security and the computer underground that didn't always get the publicity we thought it deserved, and to call out inaccuracies in mainstream reporting. We wanted to educate people, and journalists in particular, that hacking wasn't always bad, and to not believe everything you read. The site was updated daily with links and commentary on the events of the day. It was a blog before blogs. Over the next two years, the Hacker News Network became the de facto source of security and underground news with over 10,000 unique views daily, which in 1998 was a decent amount of traffic. Those of you who are familiar with the story know what came next. The loft was bought by internet security startup At Stake. At Stake didn't really know what to do with H&N. I mean, the company couldn't really justify a website that went around calling its customers names and saying their security sucked. That's not really good for business. H&N had become a liability. So I was fired from At Stake, and the Hacker News Network was shut down a short time later. At Stake was eventually absorbed into Symantec, where it dissolved, never to be heard from again, except on industry resumes. Then, in the spring of 2009, Tan, one of the old Loft members, approached me and suggested we restart the Hacker News Network. I was resistant at first, but the allure of doing the site via video drew me in. The goal was the same, to educate people, and journalists in particular, that hacking wasn't always bad, and to not believe everything you read. Or in this case, view. We started slow, and it took us a while to get the hang of audio, green screens, and animated graphics, but now, two and a half years later, we have what I think is a pretty slick production, with several popular segments such as Kung Fu, Tool Time, and The Stack of Shame. It's been slow but steady growth for the site, but we've managed to amass almost 4,000 Facebook friends and almost 11,000 Twitter followers. Each episode is now getting over 2,000 views each week. The Hacker News Network has once again become the de facto source for computer security and underground news. I spend 40 to 50 hours each week gathering and researching the news, writing the script, and filming the broadcast. Then, during post-production, Tan spends another 40 to 50 hours adding in the intros, removes the green screen, adds in the graphic elements, video clips, ed, 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 ed. I like this. and the cool sound effects. Of course, we both have full-time daytime jobs as well. Which brings me to the point of this little soliloquy, time. H&N is taking up too much of it and is pulling me away from other aspects of my life which are, frankly, more important. That's what she said. And so this will be the last episode of H&N Cast. We would like to thank all of our supporters, Facebook friends, and Twitter followers, and of course our sponsors like Astaro, Trustwave, and OWASP, who took a chance and supported us. Without any of you, we couldn't have built this into what it is. Thank you. If you would like to help us pay our final bandwidth charges, we still have a few t-shirts left, which we have reduced in price to just $15, and these shiny new, which we were going to introduce at DEF CON, shot glasses. These will make great collector's items. Trust me. Everything must go. Everything must go. Oh, and I wouldn't be able to make it to DEF CON this year, so Good Morning DEF CON is looking for a new host. If you're interested, let us know. So here's to you, Hacker News Network. Mm. That's it for the last H&N cast. I've been your host, Space Rogue, and you've been watching the Hacker News Network.